Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new to this channel, make sure you guys subscribe down there and hit that bell. We are almost to a thousand subscribers on this channel. So help me get 300 more subscribers and I'll be monetized on this channel and I'll be able to keep pushing out more content. I'll be able to afford these projects and I'll be able to, you know, build the G up and build the E36 up, push out as much content as possible for you guys. So yeah, that's my goal. Thousand subscribers, hopefully by the end of this year. But yeah, without further ado, we are getting into taking the G35 gas tank off so we can be able to, you know, refresh it, get it all cleaned up and then put it back on there. The big reason why I'm taking this thing off is because my rear subframe is off and I'm kind of just refreshing my whole rear end so yeah, this is a little tutorial how to take the G35 gas tank off. So I'm gonna show you guys real quick, uh, kind of put some PV blaster on there. You might, you guys might have to do the same thing as well. But it's pretty, it's pretty easy to take this off. So there's a bolt there, bolt there as well. They're both 18 millimeter bolts. And then also there are a couple connections right here. For the fuel line, you have to take off um, right there, and then also right here as well. This one is uh, 11 millimeter, so this one screws right off. You guys want to make sure your tank is pretty, pretty empty though. I mean, this tank really, I was running it to almost empty, so I'm pretty much decent to to take the the gas tank off, and hopefully there won't be really much gas coming out of here. But without further ado, let's get into taking this thing off. So if you guys are kind of like struggling to get this, this connection off, you just take some pliers. You really don't even have to use 11 millimeter. It's kind of rusted in, so I'm just kind of using this to be able to get it off somehow. Hit it with some PB blaster. So yeah, as I'm kind of using the pliers, it just kind of just, it's rusted. It just kind of broke apart. Obviously, that's pretty easy to replace. Just order a new one. But yeah, this is disconnected. These went off pretty easy. So pretty much ready to start loosening. Get ready to drop this. All right, guys, you guys can see all hoses are disconnected. So right here, you kind of might have to use a flathead to work it around the perimeter. I mean, this thing has been on since the car was the car was made. So um, same with this one too. And this one, worked them all off. You guys can see no gas came out here. Like I said, the tank is very empty. Um, now you could just unloosen these, maybe prop two stands right here, and you're ready to let this thing down. fuel pumps right there disconnect that and then this side too disconnect those two as well those two connections all right guys so it's all disconnected so you guys can see this one right here this one was kind of like a twist it was a kind of like a push and twist so you use little things you just push there and you got to use both hands really um, and then hold push that down and start pulling on this thing and kind of twisting at the same time. This one right here, you guys can see, has like a top release. So you just kind of push down on that and then it slides right off. So yeah, this thing's pretty much ready to go down. So let's slowly drop her down. disconnected uh, really no rust under here looks pretty good almost around those edges and everything when a wire wheel all that clean that up um, it's kind of heat shield right here pop this thing off uh, kind of just kind of just let it roll kind of down the heat shield and then I slowly put it on the mat 
So yeah, pretty much ready to just keep wire wheeling and cleaning everything up. You guys can see the gas tank right here. Fully disconnected, both sides disconnected. Connection right here, connection right here. So three hoses, connection there, connection there and there. So a total of six connections you have to disconnect. And then, uh, yeah, but I'm pretty much gonna just empty this thing out, what's left in here. I'll probably save the gas, I don't know, depending on how dirty it is inside. Give this thing a good hose down. Probably won't get another tank. I don't know, this one's still in pretty good shape, so probably just give it a good wash up and then, yeah, keep it running again. All right, guys, so you guys can see I disconnected the gas tank on the G35. I hope you guys found this video useful. And yeah, you guys can see it's a quick and easy process. Obviously, you have jacks in or something that have it propped on while you're disconnecting the wire, so none of the wires get cut off or anything. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Quick and easy process. If you guys have any questions, comment down below and I'll have them answered. And I hope to see you guys on the next video. Subscribe down there. We're almost 2,000 subs. I'm out.